hemorrhage yet. Marina, John's Pass, the Florida Fisherman 2, about to head out on a 39-hour trip. This is John Martin coming to you live. This is the gentleman that's going to be taking us out, Captain Brian. a challenge if you're gonna hook that one. Oh, they stuck the landing. Wow, that was impressive actually. That was. I did not think I was getting that. <laughs> all right, Will, tell us all about it. Feels like 105 today, they say. It does not right here. No, not, reason. but in Tampa it's supposed to be, so maybe we're going in the right direction. It looks muggy, or, you know, it looks hot today, but it's gonna be. So uh, I didn't check the rain out there. Maybe it's gonna be raining out there this trip if it's uh, hot inland. But last trip was dry, so we're headed back out there, guys. We got our lightest load of the postseason so far. I think we got 28 anglers aboard here, and uh, we're gonna start out deep this trip and see how it goes. Deeper than we normally start. Deeper than we've started. Maybe we started that deep one time this red snapper season, and uh, hopefully stay away from those red snapper and get some big mangroves and groupers throughout the night tonight and uh, jacks and groupers in the daytime tomorrow. Ready to catch Sounds up. like a plan. All I'll check right. back. All right. Where are you coming from to make this trip? Ohio originally. Ohio. Okay. Well, welcome to the free state of Florida. Glad <laughs> to have you. I live here now. Well, then you know what I mean. <laughs> good luck to you guys. Good luck to you. How y'all doing? Pretty good, yeah. Good. Where y'all from? Uh, we're inland, uh, Leesburg. Leesburg, I'm very familiar. I'm from the big city of Hawthorne, Florida. You ever heard Hawthorne, of that? Hawthorne, not, not the little, de not the village development called Hawthorne. It's up near Gainesville. Well, good luck to you. Hopefully, we'll see you guys again for yep. an update. Pretty exciting. So, are you gonna outdo him? This is our first time out here. This is your first time? Yeah, first time. All with right, this company, yeah. deep, cool. This trip, Welcome. so I'm hoping we get some big ones, man. to drop anchor here in just a minute this is the first drop on the 44 hour trip if you're wondering why it's still so broad daylight it's because that we're leaving at 10 o'clock in the morning so we get to start fishing a little early right around between 7 and 7 30 by the time they get anchored up out here i'm gonna try to captain just said five minutes i'm gonna try to catch me a gag right off the bat i did it a couple 44 hours ago and it actually held on about a 22 pounder on the first drop, first bait, and ended up winning the jackpot with it. So I'm gonna try to duplicate that today in just a moment. That horn is the sound of time to let the anchor down and get on these fish. Oh, there 
Good, Good job, job you made him smile. <laughs> He's got a better uh, now you can smile for the camera. There you yeah. go. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say. He was snagged. You measure that like you do your wiener. That's right. There he is. Right in the yeah, side. Got him lasso. Oh, yeah. That's why he came up so hard. Yeah. We're going to tell him he broke off. Well, John ain't done oh, gaffing him yet. He might. So hard for that, fish, man. that sucks, bro. Broadside. That's oh. what it was. So hard. Nice and easy. I was wrong, Mama. Oh. I mean, us fishermen, we aren't always right. No. <laughs> I am. I'm a liar too, so <laughs> nice and easy. Take your time, John. He's coming. He He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had a yellow fin on him. He, with that lure. he is. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is. I'm gonna have to set the camera down. Oh, Amber Jet. The keeper ever too. out here right hey, now. Gosh, well, you want to tell us about it? Yeah, yeah, let's get, speaking of yeah, usual, let's get John in the background. Oh yeah, yeah handsome yeah, John. Yeah. <laughs> so John, you totally missed this, but do you see this reel? Yes. What, what reel is that? Do you recognize that? Looks like the one Omar had. It looks like my reel off of my rod. Uh, you had the one that broke back there? Yes. <laughs> well, I saw it floating off. <laughs> so you got to let it go after that. But what broke it? Yeah, a short amberjack. Great video. We have a great video of it. And I uh, oh, set yeah? the hook a little bit too aggressively at the end of the night. You know, I had the John Martin 100 pound fever and uh, broke my rod. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. But they make others. Yeah, they make others, guys. <laughs> so uh, I'm rodless. I'm going home rodless. But uh, all in all, a good trip. Uh, we went deep, wa deep water. And uh, how many red snappers did we catch this trip, John? I only saw one, but I'm sure there was three or four. I didn't Not see many. any. I saw one. John, how many red snappers? I only saw one. The one you let had yeah, to call one that. red snapper. Cool. But uh, yeah, good, good, decent trip. Uh, we went big fish fishing, caught big mangroves at night all around John. And, yeah, all uh, around me, no <laughs> doubt. But uh, he did pull through. And he might be the newest member of the 100 pound club, Craig. Well, how are we going to weigh it? We're going to weigh that girl. Is that big scale? At the back of the dock. 
All right. All right, yes, well, we'll see, we may have right? to jack it up a little bit higher. But uh, Greg does promise to make the every guy a 100-pound club t-shirt once he catches a 100-pound jack. On the okay, sounds good to me. Too. So uh, John might be the next to join that club here. Turn around, John. There's the eyeball off that sucker, right? There, <laughs> there you go. There's my hand. So we'll That's see what he weighs in the morning. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the head on that one. <laughs> He's got a head on him. Wow. Yes, sir. It was fun reeling him up. Nice fish. Wow. But the tag's kind of fuzzy. I don't know who caught that. Yeah, one. we don't know. <laughs> yeah. See All right, guys. We'll have to trip. see it back at the dock. We'll right? see you guys back at the dock. All right. Well, good morning. As you can see in the distance there, the John's Pass Bridge, we are back. It is a picture perfect morning today. And the water's like glass out here right now. Almost completely flat. Not too hot yet, but that will change pretty quickly, I'm sure. I'll give you a quick panoramic view. Like I say, do I have an office with a view or what? Show you us docking here in just a moment. Five dollars a guy, five dollars a guess. Well, we got a pile for us. No, we're gonna give you a pad and a piece of paper. Well, no, I can't even imagine. I don't even know. No, you don't have to guess. We're gonna give you a pad and a piece of paper. Okay, okay. Who does? Get the pad and paper. Yes. We're gonna set you up, right? We're gonna pull right. our seat fish out. Give me like 10 minutes. Do what you're doing. All right. And we're gonna set you up. Oh, the big one over here. Do you need things packed down from the blue? No, I, I got it all together. Right. We'll see. This guy might top out around 100. We'll see. The head sticking out of the box looks so good, and then you point around, you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it shrinks, but that thing's have got a pit bull in front of you. Yeah. So that's what I'll say. It needs other things around to give it one of reference of how big it actually is. Yeah. Hubbard's Marina, Captain Brian and the boys just got back in with some monster, monster Amberjack. Amberjack as big as people. Got to get back a little bit to get that one in the video. We, uh, we've we got a little bet going on uh, how big he is, but looks like he's going to be north of 100. Very close to it. The one next to him is a solid 80. 85 pound fish definitely some big jacks lots of them some big gag grouper monster 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 mangrove snapper some 10 pound models some big keeper trigger fish 
big vermilion, big porgies, and uh, just all around massive pile of fish. Uh, we had less than 30 people, and uh, this pile of fish looks like one that would come off a trip with uh, more than 45, 50 people. It's crazy, crazy catch. Definitely a good trip, deeper water, had to deal with some, uh, some bigger currents, uh, but that didn't slow us down luckily in the super deep water we were fishing closer to 300 foot of water uh through the night time and uh the current cooperated nicely for us and then during the day uh we actually ran in shallower anticipating that current to get bad and it was actually worse current in shallower water which was uh definitely uh interesting to say the least Hopefully, Captain Brian's going to join us for tonight's live show and talk more about this trip and uh, what we're seeing out in deep water. Uh, don't forget about that live stream show every Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. And uh, Will's making his way over here to tell us a little bit more about the trip and a little bit more about how they did. Looks like you guys did real well, huh? Yeah, we did real well. Uh, we fished deep at night where they, uh, they're, you're not slamming them, but they're big fish, big mangroves out there. Lots of these in there. Yeah. And uh, you said the big mangrove is probably close to 10 pounds, huh? Yeah, I think we got a 10 pound mangrove. We did not giant gag. There's a couple of the better gags, but uh, big jacks, big mangroves, a lot of triggers right before sundown. And uh, fished real deep water. We were in 265 feet for a little while. And then uh, the current wasn't bad, but we were getting tangled up just because of the depth. So we're like, oh, we'll slide into 170. And the current was smoking. It was worse than 170 yeah. than 270. That's yeah. funny. And uh, so, uh, what was the best bait for these amberjack? Uh, big baits. Big, big live baits. baits? Yeah, there were a couple big patience, big bait, big tackle, right? That's crazy. Hooking Almacos, reeling them in, catching big, big amberjack. And uh, definitely want to have big tackle. The story here is we probably lost another 10, 12 fish that were in that 100-pound range. So a lot of big jacks out there, and plenty of them swam off another day. Thank you, Will. Appreciate it. Captain Brian definitely uh, showing off a bit with this pile of fish from the 44-hour trip. Uh, I put in the... Uh, captions there that it was a 39 hour it was actually a 44 hour trip so definitely a great 44 hour catch all right you can see the coolers lining up here they're all empty right now but they'll start filling up any moment now some of them are going to Alabama <laughs> Some of them are going to Ohio. Some will go to Jacksonville, Florida. And some will even go to Hawthorne, Florida. <laughs> right. Well, you can see these coolers are starting to fill up. Nice stringer. Yeah, yeah. Look at the size of that pony. A beast. That's a way to start up a cooler. Now that's a big bar jack there. There were quite a few pretty good size ones caught. 57. 57. You see they're starting to fill up. 56. What's that? Yeah. Where's the other? Number three. Man, they're closer than I thought. Oh, yeah, we're waiting. That's a good way to start filling up a cooler right there. Mm -hmm. I'd say they need a bigger cooler here. <laughs> Lining up for the fish cleaning service. Oh yeah, there is two, three. All right. 
Here you go, Rick. Here's the first one. <laughs> I think you need a bigger cooler, sir. Well, you know, this is what they look like before they fit in the cooler. Yeah. When they go into the bags, they'll fit just fine. You get them flayed up so you can yeah, prove man. to mama that you actually went fishing. Yeah, we got pictures. We got oh, proof. Okay. <laughs> proof. Well, you're on the video now. All right, thanks, Mr. He John. He did go fishing. I went fishing, honey. No <laughs> lie. Here goes the big boy. Go. We catch, sir. Last year. Did they get a weight on him? No, he's still tail touching. Oh. They got to lift him a little more. That Brian got to get the fish killed. I don't know if that one will even weigh. Taking a bike to Ohio, right? Yep. All right. Right. marina.com for more details of how you can go fishing of course no trip is complete without the lovely ladies of hubbard's marina that make it all possible thank you